Here we aim to prove the side splitter theorem. So the side splitter theorem says that if we cut a triangle with a line parallel to one of the sides, for instance, if I cut this triangle ABC with a line that is parallel to one of the sides, I call this line DE. That's not a very good parallel line, but drawing not to scale. So uh, DE parallel to AC, then it cuts the sides proportionally. Specifically, we can conclude BD over DA is equal to BE over EC. And that's only if we have this parallelism. So we're going to prove that. The first thing that we need to conclude is that triangle BDE is similar to triangle BAC, and that's by the angle-angle uh, postulate or similarity. And that's because angle B is congruent to itself by the reflexive property of congruence. And angle A is congruent to angle BDE by the corresponding angle postulate. If I have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. Therefore, we have triangle BDE similar to triangle BAC by angle angle. Now, since those two triangles are similar, so we can write this proportion. BA over BD is equal to BC over BE. And that's by definition of similarity. If two figures are similar, then their corresponding sides are proportional. And since BA corresponds to BD and BC corresponds to BE, I have this proportion. Recognize that BA is BD plus DA by the segment addition postulate. <clears throat> Moreover, BC is BE plus EC. So this proportion becomes BD plus DA over BD is equal to BE plus EC over BE. Now, just split it up. So we have BD over BD plus DA over BD is equal to BE over BE plus EC over BE. But BD over BD is just 1. So I have 1 plus DA over BD is equal to 1 plus EC over BE. Now, subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, and we get our desired result, namely DA over BD is equal to EC over BE. DA over BD is EC over BE, which is exactly what we wanted to show. We wanted to show that if a parallel line cut a triangle, excuse me, if a line cuts a triangle parallel to one of the sides, then it cuts the other two sides proportionally. And that relies heavily on the fact that what we end up with here are two similar triangles. And then we just manipulate this proportion using the segment addition postulate to get our desired result.